Hello, dear friends, you are on the Gradient channel. The topic of this video will be checking the quality of welds. Let's talk about the main methods of inspection and how to do it at home. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Please like and leave comments below this video. Let's go! And of course, friends, on our website, gradientua.com, you will find an assortment of torches and torch accessories, welded protection products, and many other items. The link is in the description. Let's talk about checking welds. The quality of welding operations and welded joints has a major impact on the strength of structures or the tightness of reservoirs. Non-compliance of welds with the specified characteristics leads to structural failures with catastrophic consequences. That is why the finished product is subjected to testing and inspection to detect defects in welded joints. It is clear that when you weld at home or in a workshop or weld something for yourself in everyday life, the quality of the welds may be lower. But despite this, you need to know how to check the weld and find flaws even where they are not visible. The main methods of inspection of welded joints are divided into external visual inspection, magnetic inspection, ultrasonic inspection, capillary control, radiation control, Control of sims for permeability. In this video, we will take a closer look at the capillary color inspection method. This is the most affordable method for checking critical sims at home. But let's take a closer look at other control methods. Magnetic inspection. The controller or welder uses a special device to create a magnetic field around the weld, which emits a stream of so-called electromagnetic lines. If they are distorted, there are defects. Magnetic inspection is only available when working with ferromagnetic metals. Aluminium, copper, steel with a high content of chromium and nickel cannot be tested. In general, this is a very effective but inconvenient and expensive method, so it is used only when controlling particularly important components. Ultrasonic inspection. During the inspection, ultrasound is transmitted to the sim and if it encounters a defect along the way, the ultrasound is distorted. Different types of defect distort the ultrasonic wave in different ways so that they can be easily identified. Such quality control is used everywhere because it is quite effective and inexpensive. However, ultrasonic inspection of a welded joint should be performed by a specialist. Radiation control. The test uses a mini version of a conventional X-ray. Gamma rays penetrate the metal and all possible hidden defects are recorded on a special film. This is the most advanced and expensive method of quality control, requiring modern equipment and qualifications from the controller or welder. Also, excessive work with such a device can have a negative impact on human health. We're finished by checking the sims of permeability. This method has many names, but regardless of the name, the essence remains the same. Detecting through defects that impair the sealing performance of the welded joint. Such control is divided into two methods – pneumatic, hydraulic. Welds are checked for leaks using gases, oxygen or nitrogen and various liquids e.g. water. The method is in many ways similar to the capillary method, but here the gas or liquid is additionally supplied under high pressure, under which it is distributed into the defective cavities and comes out. Let's take a closer look at the capillary color control method. The essence of the method itself is very simple. Special liquids are used for control, which are able to penetrate the smallest pores and cracks, called capillaries. This check is used when no visual defects in the seam are detected. This method is suitable for detecting cracks and any damage to structures made of ferrous and non-ferrous metals. It is also suitable for checking structures made of non-metallic materials, ceramics, composite materials, etc. This control requires a set of three aerosol cans. Cleaner, Penetrate, Developer. The control takes place in the following sequence. Treatment of the weld surface with a cleaner. Application of colored penetrate to the surface. Removal of excess penetrate 5-10 minutes after application using wipes or rather mints. Application of the developer. 
visual inspection of the seam and detection of defects. The total inspection time is up to 15 minutes. The material is not harmful to health and does not cause corrosion after the seam inspection. This method usually allows you to find defects with a thickness of 1 micron or more. This will definitely be enough for a household or semi-professional seam inspection. In the next video, we'll talk about visual inspection of the weld. We'll describe its features and consider the main defects in welds. Friends, thank you for watching this video. We hope it was useful for you. Please subscribe to our channel and other social networks. We will be happy to communicate and hear your thoughts in the comments. See you soon.